Here's another tiny tip from Belinda in Microsoft Power BI. So I have just a little table here on a report and I want to know when the last time the data was refreshed. So I could do this easily just by going in and adding a blank query. So I'll go to other, scroll to the bottom, grab that blank query. And when that comes up in query editor, what I'm going to do is go to view advanced editor and I'm going to paste in the script that I have in the text right there and go ahead and click on done. And now I have the last refresh date and time. So I could see the last time it was refreshed. Let me rename the query. Great. Now let's go back and close and apply. And then what we're going to do just to make it nice and easy is we will insert a chart visual or a card visual. Just put it right there. We'll leave it nice and big right now. But now I'm going to find that whole new query, last refresh date. There's only one field. I'll populate it in there. And now I can see the last refresh date and time. I probably don't want that to be earliest. It doesn't matter if it's earliest, latest, whatever, because there's only one. So what I may want to do is come in, turn in the format, turn off the category label, turn on the title. Let's go ahead and center that. Let's make that a little bigger. I'm going to make it 22. Let me make the rest of it a little bit smaller. So we don't need 40. We'll also make that 22. And now we can make that nice and neat and pop, push it up in the corner. So now we have this lovely little last refresh date and time. And if I go in and refresh my data, it updates. That's a tiny tip from Belinda. I hope it helps.